Hello friend, welcome back. In a previous video, I have discussed about how you can update your um, about section. So right now from your backend, you can actually update it, right? So now in this video, I want to discuss about the portfolio. That means that is actually our portfolio. So here right now, I also want to update it. So here friend, I have already created this part. Like if you go to your route, that means in our web route, into the web route, I have already created one of the multi um, images. So you can see there is actually the multi images route. So if you want to access it, I copy it. Okay, I copy it. And now better here, I copy it and then I open it another one. And then here I will copy that image, multi image. So if you after that multi image, if you click as enter. Now you can see friend, I have already discussed about that things with you, how you can add that multiple image at a time. So right now they have some of the multiple images I have already added. So now I want to do and to actually mm, visible this data. That means this multi image data in our this portfolio area. Okay. So then everything will be very much interactive. So here friend, uh, mm, that is actually our multi image. So for the multi image, I have already created one of the database table. If you go to our database, if you go to our database and into the database, you can see there is actually a multi picture. So that is all that our multiple images. So now, first of all, I want to do, I want to get this data. I want to get this data and I want to visible it in our home page. So if you want to get this data and here you can see there's our route will be just like that same. That means here we have to get this data and we have to pass this data in our home page. Because of all, if you go to our home, uh, that is our home into the home. Here you can see there is the service portion. And that is actually the portfolio, right? So portfolio is our home page. So here we have to do, we have to update this portion. So first of all, I want to actually get this data. I want to get this data and I want to visible it on here. So before um, adding this in our home page, I also want to make it a, in our backend. That means uh, that is our backend, that is our home portfolio. So when you click it as a home portfolio, then our home portfolio will be loaded. So if you want to do that work, everything I have already created, like if you go our route again into the route, um, that is our multiple image. So into the multiple image in our brand controller, I have created one of the method as a multi image and that is actually our multi image URL, right? So that is our multi image URL. And also for this, I have created one of the base. That means one of the view page in our admin and that is our home and that is our multi image index page, right? So this is the page I want to do and to load it. Okay. So that is the page I want to load it. So before load, I want to add this, our, this multi image route. So I copy that name and now go to our, um, this slider that is sidebar. If you go to that sidebar, that is our index right now. We don't need this. There is our sidebar into the sidebar here. You can see there is actually a home portfolio. So now I want to do and to add this route. So here I want to add this route. Our route will be as a multi image. I copy it. And now here I have already created this route that will be as a multi image. So when you click as a home multi image, then it will be returned redirect to the specific this page, right? I show you if you go to a web. You can see they have already created one of the method as a multi picture as a brand controller into the brand controller. So if you open this uh, brand controller, so that is our brand controller into the brand controller. Here I have created as a multi image. Mm, that is actually the multi picture, right? So into the multi picture, you can see I return one of the admin and multi picture index page. So there is the page I want to load. Okay. So that means this page will be loaded. So that is our um, multi image index space. So into this multi image index space here, I only want to do and to update this portion. So here we don't need this. I remove it. Also, there is the X app layout. I remove it. And that will be just like that same what exactly we did before. So here I also remove it. So now here I want to do, I want to add our um, portion. That means our this extended admin. So I copy it. So now here I want to do. I want to add it so that will be as a multi that means extended our uh, main admin right and then our section will be our main content part so that will be as a and section so that will be as a and section I copy it and now here I want to do I want to update it so that will be as a and section 
perfect so that's all you have to do okay so now if you click as a save all and now if you go and now if you refresh it now click as a home portfolio because here yes you can see it's not perfectly visible our all the portfolio images so that is our multi picture images so from here you can also update it that multi images right so everything is great so into the back end it, that is actually visible so right now i want to do and to visible it in our home page okay that means in our home here so if you want to add it here as i told you friend we have to do we have to get this data from our database so now go to our web route into the web route now go to our home so that is our home so i want to do i want to get one of the another variable okay i take another variable as images images and then the db or rather than you can also use that as a um, our elucian model if that means you can do rm so i have already discussed about that query builder so if you want to also get this data with using that elucian rm what exactly you have to do you have to load your model first so here you have to load that model so for the multi images i have also created another model uh, that is our model 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 you can see that is actually the multi picture so that is the model we have to add that will be as a multi so that is actually multi picture so that is the model with this model i want to get this data okay that means the multi picture so that is our model name so now so i want to do with this model okay with this model i want to get all the data so that will be as all data perfect so now i get all that our data with this model i want to get or i get all the data from our this database table so that is our database table all the data i get it and take the things with this variable and now i also want to pass it in our home page okay that means in our this home page so that is how i pass it so now we can actually access this all that images uh, in our home page so now go to our home page so that is our images so now go to our home page here and uh, you can see that is actually our portfolio part that means that is actually our portfolio part i want to do and to update it so right now here we don't need this i remove this ul okay i remove it and here i only want to take one actually okay i only want to take one because here i have to update it i don't need this i remove it there is so many um, static all the teammates so now i select everything i select and everything i remove it i only take one okay that means one portion so here i want to do and to add one of the forage so here i have to add that forage because here it should be looping all that our images so now i add that as a for each and also i have to do i have to finish it that means that will be as the and for each right that will be as and for each so now into the for each area i want to do i want to add our uh, from to this position i pass that data as the images right so i get this data now i can actually access it in our home page so now i want to use it so that will be as a images and i just name it as image or image okay so this type of one of the name i want to add so that will be as image so now with this image we can actually visible all that our field name so right now our field name if you go our field name is the images so i only want to show that image so that means that is actually the asset so right now we don't need any asset i remove everything so with this image with this image i want to access our database field our database field as an image right so make that sure your field is correct so that is actually our image field so now i want to do and to access it and also there is another one for the this one better i want to do and to make it also updated i paste it so that will be also our image will be visible and then the more option the details option here there is also one of the button so right now we don't need this i remove it okay so now let's check this out fast because i save all and now if everything okay it should be loaded click as a refresh yes you can see friend it's now successfully updated so that is all that our portfolio image so this portfolio i have already discussed about that things with you how can add that multiple image at a time so that is all that our multiple image is visible here you can see that is also the loaded our zoom on zooming that is actually another one so this is the one actually this one okay that means that is actually herif one and that is our main one 
perfect so here we successfully display our portfolio page so that is actually our portfolio page right so friend our every part is now totally dynamic our slider is totally dynamic so you can manage it from to the back end we can manage our about portion from to the back end that is a service portion that is your task and then portfolio is now totally dynamic okay and also that is our brand is totally dynamic so everything is now totally complete so now in our next video i want to discuss about that portfolio so here if you go to our template um, if you go to our exercise file there is our company and here if you open it with our index so right now i want to update it our this portfolio page so that is actually a portfolio page structure right so that is a portfolio i have already added in our admin panel so if you want to add this portfolio page how can load this page how can make it dynamic in our next video i will show you that things with a live example so thanks for watching and i will see you in the next video